welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i have done a um, new video except for shorts um and today i will be doing um get ready chit chat uh, trying out the new uh catrice um some of the new catrice products and uh yeah i'm very excited and uh, i hope you like it too before uh, we jump to the video please give it it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let's jump into the video like i said i'm going to be trying out some new catrice products and i already showed you these uh, two this is the high coverage concealer and this is the invisible cover foundation they recently came out with this foundation and i personally asked them on instagram how it will uh, perform on drier skin and they said it, it's perfectly fine also for dry skin like it's made for every skin type so i'm very curious to try it out and i also have uh, their new care in color lip balms i'm going to uh, test this out for you guys and uh, this is this is going to be like a first impression but also i want to chit chat a little bit and you will see the full result let's just try it out i will say that this one comes i believe they said in 40 uh, different colors so that's a really um a good uh, thing from catrice because i believe in the past the shade range wasn't that uh, wide um i just opened it and um i don't know it's really getting messy already so i don't know how i feel about that maybe i was a bit too rough i don't know and this is the applicator it looks a little bit weird to me yeah we'll just um, go with it just to see how it works i think i will do one side with a primer and the other side without have or i think the right shade for me is the 042c let me put my hair away a bit one side i'm going to do with this professional primer from benefit because i don't know that's my favorite primer so far anyways uh i am planning to do more long form videos uh, because i have more time uh, now um, my kids are um, at school again and uh, my youngest son um, he is uh, five and um, he has autism so it it's it was kind of a long and bumpy road uh, to find the right education for the moment um i don't always uh, had time to um, film videos but i really do enjoy uh, filming them and um, sometimes i even feel a bit how do you say it um, embarrassed to hear my voice or to see myself um, <laughs> talking to the camera um, but i really planning to do more if you have any uh, questions or suggestions or anything else um, you can just um, ask me in the comments or send me a message it doesn't matter where on instagram or here I'm going to blend out this side with primer and i have this morphe m439 brush and let me see how this is going to i don't know but i think this is the right shade for me so far it's so good i think this shade has a little bit of like a pinkish undertone maybe i don't know if you can pick it up on camera this looks fine right so it blended in very well um also going to this side without anything anyway who else is a little bit fed up with instagram i don't know i have been on the platform for uh, years and um i just can't seem to grow <laughs> 
I don't know if it's me, if it's my content, if it's an algorithm. I just generally don't know what I'm doing wrong. I used to have a bigger account and then I, my account got disabled in, I believe, 2017, 2018. And I started all over. I don't know if it's just me. I am, how do you feel about the Instagram app? Um, I already feel like this side is a little bit harder to blend like I have to work harder how do you feel about uh, Instagram at the moment I feel like YouTube is better in a way I just haven't found my um, community yet I guess because I'm also so much more um, active on Instagram so I uh, used to it and um, yeah I believe that's why I am more active on the app but I really want to try to focus more on YouTube uh, yeah and I was just curious how you guys uh, think about that I forgot to swatch it on my arm too maybe you can see it a little bit better look it's not bad it's not too dry and uh, it's not too dewy it's really somewhere in between like some natural finish with medium to buildable coverage mm. it dries up quickly so you have to work fast so that's my first impression so far the foundation is on and um it really feels like um I don't know second skin i doesn't feel like it's um how do you say that i am wearing some extra layer it really uh, feels like it sinked into the skin very well and so far so good i'm going to put uh, on the concealer right now i have the shade number 10 so but didn't they already had this concealer or is it just a concealer that is very similar to another concealer that they have i don't know i'm just going to put a little bit here and there and i think i picked up the good shade for the concealer the concealer really has a strong smell to it so if you don't like uh, a smell in your makeup i wouldn't recommend it but it really feels a uh, lightweight and you don't need a lot to cover up those uh eye area can you see that it really uh, gets into the skin very quickly and it looks very good and very natural and i feel like it really brightened up this area I don't know if this liquid uh, concealer is brand brand new but they displayed it uh, on the side of the counter uh, with the some of the new products we have the foundation on we have the concealer on and i'm going to finish the rest of my face but for now it really looks good it isn't sticky it isn't too heavy it really feels very natural on the skin and that is what i really love so it is like uh, a good coverage but still it looks very natural and um still hydrating and i'm going to use one of their uh, new uh, lip balms and uh, i have already lined my lips uh, let me see so i think i'm gonna go with the lighter shade and this one is called feeling pretty so <laughs> Yeah, they are very um, juicy, <laughs> very creamy. They are very yummy, but I don't feel like this one has enough pigment. So I'm going to um, put a hot take on top. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, it's a little bit more pigmented. I'm going to finish it with a face mist uh, from Bioma. 
the foundation looks very good even on dry and mature skin uh, because let's not forget i'm almost 40. it really feels very natural on the skin and although it says it is matte there's still like enough uh hydration to it my final thoughts um yeah i really like the packaging from the new catrice invisible cover foundation i really like that it's uh, only like um seven eight bucks i'm very very um yeah surprised i would say that it performed the way it did so um yeah and the foundation uh it's only like three bucks or something and also the packaging looks uh, looks nice it only smells a little bit heavy um i don't know how i would describe the smell it feels like lightweight but it's still high coverage because you can really blend uh, it in without uh, it getting cakey or how do you say it um too heavy when you blend it in i feel like this concealer is uh so good that it's even better than some high-end concealers like i already mentioned before um i don't know if this one is uh very new like uh like the foundation but i still liked it no matter if it's new or not i really like those two together so it's amazing i would really recommend the foundation with the concealer and um i don't know about the lip balms though um, i'm just going to throw it in um yeah uh, they look nice they smell nice and i love the color range but i don't and they are very juicy but i feel like it's just um a nice lip balm just to have to uh, i think i expected it to be more pigmented they are not too bad but um my personal preference would be uh, more like a lipstick or a real lip gloss i want to try more new uh, releases so if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments down below i would really want to try the new huda beauty easy blur foundation for example or maybe something else so if you want to see me try out something new or something that um is already a longer on the market please let me know and uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye bye